Hi Pisces, it is Wednesday the 7th of February and it's time for our daily get together. Let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages come out for you today Pisces, what you should be aware of. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this video? What does Pisces need to know? All right, Pisces, the very first card you have is you have the Four of Pentacles. So apparently you're holding back. Holding back your voice, your money. There's something here that we're going to be talking about. That's your very first card. So it's pretty, pretty strong of an energy. The next card you have is the Seven of Swords. I feel like You're holding back from an argument here. There's someone in your energy that is not being honest or not saying anything about a situation. They could be dishonest, but you're holding back from having an argument, having words with this person. The next card you have here is the Five of Swords. Does Pisces need to know? And then you have the King of Cups. And the Ace of Swords. So there will be communication. You have the Moon. That's Pisces Cancer energy. And then you have the Six of Cups showing up in the future. Okay. Let's make sure you guys can see all the cards. The Three of Wands. And the Five of Wands. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Swords. And you have the Lovers, Gemini Energy. I'm trying to make it an emotional choice because... There's a choice within this lover's connection. There's a choice here that has to do with your feelings. You're feeling hurt with the three of swords showing up here. But it's like you're you're holding your voice back. Why is the four of pentacles here? You have the eight of wands. You've already talked and talked and talked. That's why the Eight of Wands is showing up and it's gotten you nowhere. And then you have the, within this connection, this love. And then you have the Hermit. See, you're just keeping it, keeping it to yourself. You're done. You're done trying to explain yourself. The Hermit is Virgo energy, but you're done trying to explain yourself to someone. And it's this person, they may be, you know, very secretive at this time. Like you're not sure what's going on. Tell me why the Seven of Swords is here. Let's find out what's going on. person has a third party I don't know whether this is a romantic third party or what this third party is but this person is busy with a third party
here with strength this is leo energy and you're holding back again with strength because you're waiting for some type of new opportunity um i i feel like you're doing this pisces because i feel like there's some type of investment that you've had with this person um some roots have been planted here the two of you are entangled in each other's lives somehow and i've been getting this quite often for you guys recently so you're holding back from moving on here with the wheel of fortune even though you have the sun it's like you see something is not working out for you and you see it very clearly so the sun is out here tell me why the five of swords is here you're holding back from an argument and this person is kind of a shadow figure it's like they're there but they're not tell me why the five of swords is here this person has a whole other life this whole other existence outside of what the two of you share when you're together it's like things are great but then this person they just kind of show up missing tell me why the five of swords is here see again the five of swords this is an argument this is speaking your mind and then walking away um but what i'm getting from you is the hanged man this is pisces energy it's like you're you're hanging here you're not you're done with speaking your mind you see the bigger picture the star is Aquarius energy and I I'm seeing you it's like you're healing and you're choosing a new path here you're you've been through the tower with whoever this is so you've been through the darkness you've already shed the tears you've already been through the pain but you're feeling stuck here in this healing energy of coming out of the tower and seeing the way things are but there's there's no way to move forward yet I see a house here um it's like you're you're there the next card you have is, is the king of cups why is the king of cups here and you're you're staying in control of your emotions here pisces it's like mind over matter this person's been playing on your heart strings you have the knight of cups here so they've been playing on your heart strings and then they walk away I, I just get the same thing here and then it's like you've tried to hold up this tower you've tried to hold the structure of what the two of you have built together you've tried to hold it together but it's cracked it's so what good is it anymore it's like completely cracked here the words have been spoken what's done is done and the tower is cracked in the center of your reading you have the ace of swords so i feel like you're going to be talking to this person tell me why the ace of swords is here you have the eight of pentacles I'm seeing you talking to this person about this change it's like you're painting a picture all right and there's butterflies here so this conversation has to do with the work that needs to be done on this change and the four of wands this could be a home or a marriage um the four of wands but
this this person whoever you're dealing with they will tell you they want it you know that they they want to work on this this person doesn't want to let you go they want to hold on to you but i feel like you've got to by this point as much as i've seen looking into your energy by this point you've got to be done i mean the four of cups is here you're disgusted you're disappointed you're you're not interested the same thing keeps happening over and over and over again and the seven of wands you know defensive pushing back and then you have the moon why is the moon here of sorts this person lied to you tell me about this eight of swords the king of swords this person has some type of a legal matter going on they could have um, disappeared because of this legal matter someone could be in jail the seven of pentacles is here There's a lie here. This person, they have someone new in their life. The Ace of Cups is like being hidden from you on the bottom of the deck. They could be speaking to an ex. Someone is, not every, not for everyone, but um, when I look into your into this moon energy i'm seeing someone has lied to you okay and it has something to do with a new love which you're not seeing it's on the bottom of the deck and a decision that needs to be made that you're really up in your head about it's like it's like this decision needs to be made. I know it needs to be made. You know it needs to be made 100%. There's no black and white. I mean, there's no gray area. It's only black and white. The decision needs to be made. Um, but how? You know, you have the Eight of Swords. Your mind is thinking and thinking and thinking. And when the moon is out, it's dark and you're not really sure how to get out of this cage that you're finding yourself in because you have planted roots the seven of pentacles is here you planted your garden here so how do you get them out when i look into the future you have the six of cups so you're thinking about someone here that you have a lot of history with or your family let me see who you're thinking about why is the six of cups here yeah your family the ten of pentacles your money your investment your home your family tell me about the ten of pentacles The nine of cups your happiness you know what is best for you personally and death when it comes to this ending this is scorpio energy um seeing you doing that here in the future There could be children here with the Six of Cups, but there's people in your life, you know, that you love, that are family members, that are somehow you don't you don't want to be selfish. So that so there's this energy of the Nine of Cups, like this needs to end, but you need to consider other people in your life. The next card you have is the Three of Wands. So I'm seeing you here taking the first step. All right. Putting something out into the universe instead of 
playing the waiting game and feeling stuck. You're going from the two of wands to where you're trying to come up with a plan, decide which way to go, into the three of wands where you're taking the first step down this new road and choosing which direction you want to go into. Tell me why the three of wands is here. You have the knight of pentacles. You're wanting to, to move slowly here, Pisces. The High Priestess is here. And you don't really want anybody to know exactly what the plan is. This is your energy, the High Priestess. It's like you're hiding what you have in mind, what this is that you've put out into the universe, what you've looked for, the step that you've taken. You're hiding it. And you have the Knight of Swords. This energy of you doing what you're doing, Pisces, you may not realize it now because I'm not exactly sure, you know, of the exact timeline it will be a little bit different for all of you guys. But this action that you're taking now, it's going to make you, give you like the feeling of floating on a feather. It's going to make you feel free. It's going to make you feel very happy. All right, you doing something here and it's like you're keeping it to yourself and putting the first steps into doing something that is going to last for the long run so that you're not going back and forth in your energy, something stable. And the next card you have is the five of wands and it looks like you're playing a chess game here, like you're putting people where they need to be put. Tell me why the Five of Wands is here. You have the Nine of Wands. You could be actually, whoever this cheater is, this is a cheater. You could actually be um, pulling some strings here, Pisces, to get them to do for you. Somehow you're using this person to do for you to complete a plan that you have, that you're keeping to yourself. This person is involved in that plan. They just don't know it. Tell me why the Five of Wands is here. You're doing this, Pisces, because you're trying to build a brick wall, something that cannot be knocked down, taken down, taken away from you. It's a secure building, a secure place that you're building for yourself. And you also want to successfully cross over the finish line and get to this new position of yours because this really feels like you're playing a, a game, like you feel like you're playing a game with someone here that is very controlling and they feel like they pull the strings. Tell me why the three, let's see what caused this heartache of yours, Pisces. Why is the three of swords here? The Ten of Wands. Okay, so one reason it's here is because this person puts a lot of burdens on your back. Look at how you're hunched over. You're carrying everything yourself here. You're planting the flowers, but you're carrying everything on your back yourself here. So that's one of the swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? You have the Five of Cups, feeling of regret. There's a lot of water here, feeling in your emotions and re 
feeling regret that you could have spent your time, your energy somewhere else or on someone else that you care about, that you love. And the next third sword is you've given to this person. They played your heart strings and you end up walking away anyway. And so it's all just caused you pain. Why are the lovers here? Okay, so you have the Six of Swords. And then you have the Knight of Wands. And you have the King of Cups. I'm seeing you making an, an emotional choice here, Pisces. You have given, I mean, this is the King of Cups, the King of Love. You've, you've kind of given your all to this person. You know, your trust, your energy. It's like they've just had smooth sailing around you. It's like you've created some type of bridge, separated the water, put them in calmer water and carried them held them and they they ran back and forth there's a lot of wand energy with this person they're they're living a double life they're living two different lives at the same time there's one of these lives that you don't see but i'm seeing your emotional choice because that's what the lovers is talking about your choice within this connection I'm seeing you moving, like someone is literally moving here, but this is moving into calmer water. This is you, you know, just ripping the band-aid off and ending a cycle that has caused you nothing but pain. All right, you guys, let's get some advice from the Moonology cards. Let's get some advice from you. The universe. Advice for Pisces. First quarter moon in Aries. Step into your power. It's time for you to be the one in control, Pisces. And it's time for you to step into your power. All right. First quarter moon in Capricorn. Unleash your kindest self. And then you have last quarter moon in Pisces, talk less, feel more. And new moon in Capricorn, step up and lead. Don't let this person lead anymore, Pisces. It's time for you to lead. I don't even know if... Let's see what is hidden here from you. What does Aries wish to say to Pisces? I wish I treated you better, Leo. I couldn't tell you face to face. Sagittarius, what did you want from me? Aquarius, you didn't imagine it. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I wonder if you are happy without me. Libra, I love you. Gemini, I pretend you don't mean that much. Taurus, leaving you hurts me too. Virgo, I can't stop thinking about you. Capricorn, I knew exactly what I was doing. Pisces, you speak to me through music. Cancer, I don't react when people mention you. Scorpio, I love myself enough to walk away. 
and um, I forgive you and I pretend that I don't care I kind of feel like that's your energy Pisces I kind of feel like you know you're feeling hurt but I um, I'm seeing you you know you've already lived through all of the signs of the zodiac you understand people and whatever this person does it's almost like you're saying I forgive you for yourself if not for any other reason and I pretend that I don't care all right Pisces so these are the messages that came out in your tarot cards today I hope they help you to see the bigger picture of what's happening in your energy right now and thank you guys so much for being here with me. Take care of you today, Pisces, and we'll meet back here again tomorrow. Namaste.